Okay, today we're going to be making uh, a cream and we're going to be incorporating a powder into that cream. The powder we're using today is calamine and the base we're going to be using is aqueous cream. The key part to making a cream with a powder or, inco or incorporating a powder into a cream is getting the powder into a small amount of cream and then diluting it from there on. So that's what we call trituration, diluting by an equal amount once you've got the, ba the powder into the base. So as you can see, I've got my powder, my cream, and my tools all set out ready to use. The first thing I normally do is I normally clean my equipment and the slab to make sure we're not picking up any dust particles or um, bits of things that have been left over from the last cream. And also to make doubly sure that our equipment is suitable. Now as you can see, I've got three different size spatulas. When making a cream or an ointment or a paste, I recommend using the larger size spatula available. Um, this is because it has a greater surface area and is much easier to incorporate. And it's also much easier on your muscles. Okay, so the next bit is I'm gonna show you how we do this. Okay, so the way I do it is I normally get a small amount of base, spread it lightly onto the slab, and then sprinkle the powder onto that to incorporate it. The reason I do that is it stops the powder sliding off the slab if you tr then try to push powder on top of it. So you can see all the powder's gone. Now the key to this is to fold the cream over the powder. Now calamine powder is quite soft and light. and it will want to puff away. So as you can see, it's, the cream has started to go quite pink, but at the moment it's still quite granular. Okay. You'll see on the front side of this, this is fairly well incorporated, but on the back side you've got a lot of powder and things like that. So taking another spatula, you slide the handle down, the blade down, the opposite blade, and then incorporate it. The technique here that I'm using is not a lot of pressure, but it's the side to side motion. Okay. Now when working on a slab, it gets to a point where the powder or the base is not well incorporated and they tend to be on the edges. So to make sure it's consistent and evenly spread throughout the base. I pick up the cream using the other spatula and clean the slab slightly so that we're certain all of the powder you've accurately measured is incorporated. Okay. So you may be able to see on the on your screen that as I brush over it, I'm just rolling the blade. So it's the flap of the blade that does the work rather than any significant pressure. So hopefully you can see this is now incorporated. Um, it's a very thin layer and you've got no granules or streak marks running through it. So that's one reason you know that it's been incorporated. So again, I pick up the cream from the slab. Now this doesn't matter if you're left or right-handed. Whichever way you do it is fine. So you can see now, we've got a very small amount of base with all of the powder in it, and a nice smooth cream. 
The next step is to dilute this part with an equal amount of base that you've got remaining. So it's, it's not 100% accurate, but you just scoop out what you need so it looks roughly about the same amount. So this is the trituration part. So then you just mix these two together using the same method as you did previously. The benefit of this is if you have missed any bits of powder that haven't fully incorporated, you've got a chance to make sure they are fully incorporated. Okay. Okay. Now don't forget you need to fold the edges back in to make sure you've fully diluted it. As you may, well I can see on this here that there are streaks of white in between the pink. Just here, some whiter parts, that means it's not yet incorporated. So before I dilute it further, I make sure that it has been fully diluted. So it's an even consistent color. Now you may not be able to tell, but I'm not really using any pressure at all. And hopefully you can tell that I'm using my shoulder to move my arm rather than my wrist. Okay. If you do really small movements like this, your arm will get really tired. Now that's not so important if you're only making a small amount of cream, but if you're having to make half a kilogram, 500 grams of cream, you'll get very tired very quickly. Now you may be looking at the slab and going, you've missed all these bits on the outside. At the moment, I'm not too concerned about those. I'll pick those up at the end. Okay. The other important thing is, I don't place my clean spatulas onto the dirty bench. I've cleaned the slab, I've cleaned the spatulas, I leave them on the slab. That way they can't fall on the floor either. Okay. So as you can see, we're roughly Going to use the last of the cream now. Okay. As you can tell, you're never able to get absolutely everything out of a weighing boat and for a cream. Sometimes, if you're using wax paper or other measurement tools, it's a bit easier. Now you can see we're starting to use the whole of the slab. You need to be careful you don't go too vigorously and push it off the end of the slab because you'll have to start over because there is no way to tell which part of the cream you've lost. This is when a larger spatula comes in much handy because you can use a large area like I'm doing here and incorporate it much quicker. So at the moment what I'm looking for is consistency of colour and to make sure there's no granules left. Sometimes a granule you can't get rid of is actually a bit of dust or debris you've picked up from somewhere or if someone's walked past you that's blown through from, air, from an air conditioning. You'll be able to feel that. Okay. So hopefully you'll be able to see here in the middle of the slab it's flat, smooth and consistent. Okay. That's what we're looking for when you're making a cream or an ointment. Okay. So now that the cream is incorporated, what I do, it's not absolutely necessarily, but I move it all to the middle. Okay? 
just means that you can be sure that you've collected everything and before you go to put it in the jar, it's in one place. Okay. Now you'll see that this cream has gotten less and less pink. That's for two reasons, partly because we're diluting it with the base, but also because as we work it on the slab, it picks up more and more air and that makes it whiter. Okay, and that goes for any ointment bases as well. Okay, so the next step we're going to do is we're going to put the cream into the jar. And the technique for this is very helpful. Uh, it means you don't have to bang the bench with it or possibly break the jar. Now I'm not going to use a big spatula for this because the opening is quite small. So looking at my spatulas, I'm going to go for a slightly longer spatula, the middle spatula, because it will give me better reach. Okay, now how you do this is up to you, but I tend to get on the end into the jar and then I'm pressing it against the side of the jar. Okay. The reason I do that is it stops any air getting in there and prevent you from completely filling the jar. Okay. So we just work our way around the sides of the jar. Making sure that we push it down to the bottom. So you can see just by doing that, all of the sides are filled. Okay. We still use that method to continue filling the jar because it helps keep out the air. Okay. So as we do it, we just sort of push down and around. Now getting towards the end of it, you're thinking, how do you get those last little bits? Because you've carefully weighed all of your ingredients accurately and had them checked. So now we have to make sure we have everything. Okay. Still using the big spatula and the middle size spatula, all I'm doing is cleaning the slab and transferring it to this spatula. Okay. If you run the spatula down, it's not going to fall off. Okay. fell off, didn't it? Okay. Now, as I said before, you're never going to get every single last shred off a slab or even off a spatula. Now, then this next little bit is all about just moving it so it's in a convenient location to put in the jar. Okay. Now the last little bit that I do is just to tiny up the top of the jar, is just run the inside edge along it, and there we go. Okay. Once you finish putting your cream in, you put your lid on to stop it. Therefore, you've got your cream in the jar, your slab, it's nice and contained. So that's how we make a cream.